Hey there, YouTube. Proxy Hacks here, and um, I'm gonna be doing some Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. Now, I recently came across this person named Amanda. In fact, I battled her yesterday, and she was a pretty decent player. Anyway, let's start this. Okay, back up so you can see the full screen. Alright, so I start off with my Landorus, and she starts off with her Politoed because she knows that it's a Sandstorm team, and she was probably expecting my Tyranitar to come out first. So I go for my U-turn, and I switch into my Gastrodon, which is basically my counter to Rain team. So, yeah. Bring out that Gastrodon, and, um pulls a good move and goes for Ice Beam. I was expecting a Scald, but Ice Beam works too because it's quad effective against Landorus. Alright. My Gastrodon takes it like a beast because, well, that's what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, it gets badly poisoned and, um, I go for Toxic as well. Yeah, we both go for Toxic trying to stall each other out. So this is base. so the battle already started and it's already basically a stall war. However, that Polito doesn't have any healing moves and I do, so I would obviously win the stall war. So yeah. So she withdraws for Polito and then she goes out and brings out the Machamp because she's going to dynamic punch me. And I knew we're gonna dynamic punch me, so I switched out into my uh, Gliscor, which turned out to be pretty bad for me because um, I got the confusion hacks, hurt myself in confusion before I could pull off an acrobatics to knock it out, so that was pretty bad. Could have used that Gliscor. If my Gliscor was still alive, the battle would have ended a lot quicker, I think. Because <laughs> this thing is a good sweeper. one of those early game sweepers. It also has access to Substitute, and it's a flying gem acrobatic set, so it's pretty good. So yeah, I hurt myself in Fusion, and I'm Ice Punch knocks me out. Of course, I don't think any Gliscor has ever survived an Ice Punch. <laughs> so anyway, so I bring up my Stoutland for the revenge kill, because it has Retaliate. So I go for the Retaliate, take it out. It's also Choice Banded because of its frail physical attack. It has like, what, 328 physical attack? Yeah. So anyway, I switch out because I know that thing is Aura Sphere, and I go for my Gastron because it's a special wall. So yeah, it goes for Aura Sphere. doesn't really do that much, because my Gastrodon is a beast, and everyone here knows it. So, um, she brings out her Gastrodon, and I'm like, oh, great. That's what we need, another stalling war. So, um, yeah, I decided to go for the Toxic after an Earth Tower. Apparently that Gastrodon's faster than me, and I wish that my Toxic didn't miss the first time, that way I wouldn't have been in such a bad position at the time. <coughs> but some, later on something happens, and yeah, I'm not going to ruin the battle for you. Alright, so brings me down to 93 HP. And, um, I bring up my Landorus because I was expecting an Earth Power. And then I, I'm basically playing mind games with my opponent now. So, I switch again into my Tyranitar to get the Sandstorm up. Plus, I want that Gastrodon gone. 
So I don't know why I didn't use a U-turn. I just switched out. Like, I honestly don't know why I didn't just U-turn it. But, oh well. It wasn't a costly mistake, so it doesn't really matter. So anyway, bring out my Tyranitar. Bring out the Sandstorm. Nerfs. The Gastrodon. Muddy Water. Which is what it ends up using. It doesn't use Earth Power on me for some reason. It uses a nerfed Muddy Water. So yeah, I go for my Stealth Rock just to set up some entry hazards. Because that's what my Tyranitar is. It's my lead. And I also have a scout in case something happens. Which is my Landorus is a good scout. It's also a good late game sweeper because it's Choice Scar. And, um... Yeah, this... Tyranitar has a Tropical Berry, so if you use a fighting type attack on it, it'll take it like it's nothing. It'll probably do about half damage to it. That's how awesome this Tyranitar is. So anyway, I go for Crunch, and I land a crit and knock it out, and I'm just like, holy crap, yes, that's what I needed. But I don't think it wouldn't have, I don't think it would have mattered anyway, because Toxic might have actually taken it out anyway. However, she could have used Recover, which would have been bad for me, so, yeah. I was lucky to get that crit. So anyway, I switch out, and I bring out my Gastrodon again, <coughs> and the Politoed goes for Scald, but Storm Green, that's why I switched. So, um, yeah, I'm at 93 HP, and I can basically, I can take, no, I can take anything that Politoed can dish. So anyway, I go for a nice beam, he goes, excuse me, she goes for a nice beam, and it brings me down to 39 HP, not worried, because I can use recover. So yeah. Anyway, so it goes for another Paris song. And I go for another recover. And um yeah. So again, just trying to get rid of my Gastrodon with a Paris song, but yeah, that's not gonna work because I'm gonna switch eventually. When I when the Paris song counts to him. I want this Gastrodon to do as much damage as it can before it switches out. Anyway, he withdraws her Politoed, and she brings out Togekiss. Now, I wanted to get off a of Toxic before I switched out, so yeah. I went for Earth Power just to do some damage because I had Storm Drain boost. I could have also used Scald because I'm boosted in special attack and that could have done a lot of damage to it. So yeah, there are a lot of good plays I could have done but I just didn't because I wasn't thinking right. I guess it was because it was late at night when I did this battle. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of things I could have done. Probably would have helped. <laughs> Probably would have ended this battle a little quicker. So yeah, I'm at, I'm at Parish Count, number one, so I switched out into my Tyranitar, and I got the Toxic off, which is what I wanted to do. And so I bring out my T-Tar, and I get the Sandstorm, that's what I want, because this team is the Sandstorm team, it's a really good team, in my opinion. I put a lot of thought into this team. <sighs> Anyway, so, switches out her Togekiss, and she brings out her Politoed, and, um, I go for an Ice Beam, because that was, it was a Togekiss recently out there, so, yeah. I go for Ice Beam, it does nothing, 
as I was expecting, because, well, it's a Politoed, first of all, second of all, it's not very effective, and, yeah, third of all, Ice Beam isn't stabbed, so, yeah, that, that would also, yeah. yeah, this Tyranitar is a mixed lead set, so, yeah, it has, a uh, Crunch, Focus Blast, Ice Beam, and Stealth Rock, with a Choppel Berry as its item, so, yeah, Politoed tries to Toxic me, but I switch out in my Gastrodon. And Leftovers heals me up to 84, but Poison brings me back down to 58. Still not too worried, because I know I can take it. Actually, you know what, I was kind of worried here, because I was at 58 HP, but it only does 52 damage to me, I live with 6 HP, and I go for Recover, and I was literally breathing a sigh of relief there. Because, honestly, if he killed my Gastrodon, I don't know what I would do against that Politoed. <laughs> I mean, I might have been able to kill it with my, uh, Landorus, but, yeah. Then I could have late game swept, but, yeah. I just decided to stall it out, so I could be safe from that. Because this thing right here is the main threat to my team, so, yeah. I didn't want to risk anything. I wanted that Politoed gone. So yeah, he lands a crit with Ice Beam, and I go for another Recover, because I can. So I heal it off, which is good. So I pretty much turn this battle around. I was in a bad position, and now she's in a very bad position. Her Politoed is about to faint, and I get my and I still have my Tyranitar. So yeah, I'm good. <laughs> So yeah, I decide to, um, since Gastrodon pretty much did its job, I can just leave it. So anyway, brings out the Togekiss and Stealth Rock damage. Because, come on, entry hazards are awesome. So anyway, chooses Shadow Ball, Special Defense Drops, Serene Grace, 60% chance of that happening. So anyway, go for Scald, and it takes it out. Which is what I, which is what I wanted. So yeah, Gashadon heals it off some more, and yeah, hurt by poison, then brings out Aerodactyl. and Stealth Rock damage. So it got rid of the Sash. That's another reason why I like to just use Stealth Rock, just to get a just to get rid of Focus Sashes. Because honestly, Focus Sashes are annoying as hell. <laughs> so anyway, takes out Gastrodon, and I'm just like, okay, cool. I still have my I still have my Landorus, and I still have my um, Stout one too. So I have a Revenge Killer still out, and I have my Late Game Sweeper. So you honestly can't do anything to me. So I just decided to fodder out my Tyranitar. Because I honestly don't need it anymore, since Sandstorm's already up, so, yeah. I'm just death foddering now. <laughs> so I go for an Ice Beam, and, um, he goes for an Iron Head. To tell you the truth, it wasn't really necessary for me to get rid of Tyranitar, because I could have just simply switched out the Stout one anyway, and I would have been able to take it out. But I didn't want to be locked into Wild Charge. I mean... It would have happened eventually. I, I don't know, I was just being really stupid. I could have kept my Tyranitar and I probably would have won with like three Pokemon left. <laughs> so anyway, brings out Raikou, and I'm just like, ah oh, crap, that's not good. I'm locked into Wild Charge, and that's an electric type, so I'm going to... And it had an Air Balloon, which was also pretty bad for me, so... I would be forced to use Stone Edge with my Landorus, and we all know how much Stone Edge works. It hardly ever, it hardly ever hits. I don't know why I didn't give my Landorus a uh, Rock Slide, but I don't know. That's just how I work sometimes, <laughs> and I'm almost out of time. Hope I can make it. <laughs> so anyway, goes for an Aura Sphere, and um. Takes out my Heatran. 
train of faints, and um, I'm perfectly fine with that because I have my revenge killer out, and that's pretty much the end of the match. So good game, Amanda. And you were a pretty decent player. And um, that's pretty much it for this match. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.